This place is magical. You still think you're inside a cave, but it's much brighter. But then you look up here and suddenly you see an opening. You think like, uh, well, it's just for show. You can't actually go there. But no, you can actually go there. In fact, you are going there right now. Getting out of the cave and being greeted with this. This foggy area. Yes, it is a whole other world. It has to be in this valley somewhere. And the bow is definitely somewhere around here. A um, couple of saber casts that we're going to have to fight, but uh, overall this place is not too bad. Like, it's basically uh, um, uh, Black's Reach uh, 2.0. Except at least it looks different. Unlike the Black's Reach of the uh, Worm Suit. <laughs> Now, there are a lot of side uh, caves that we can go through in this place. And that's neat and all, but we're not going to be doing any of them. We're just doing the bare minimum to get the quest uh, over with. M maybe I'll check out uh, one optional thing, just because it's cool. But uh, overall, we're just doing this to complete the quest. Still, there's a lot of side content you can do here, and it's quite fun. Uh, it's easy to just follow the path over here, but there's a way shrine right over here that's very, very easy to miss. Hello. Welcome, initiate. This yeah, the way shrine of sight because you need to really sight. look around to find this one. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it speed your journey to the inner sanctum. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. It is beautiful, Serana. Don't be sarcastic. I guess she says it's about to rain or something. Or maybe she doesn't like the fog. Anyway, we're not going to be using any portals around here. But uh, if you use the portal, it's going to let you uh, travel... Uh, across the way shrines uh, much more easily it's a little weird that way y'all see as i start uh, unlocking more of the way shrines they'll start with more portals for reference we've already missed a side cave all the way uh yeah we're all the way over here now but uh that's just uh, illogical um yeah right here there's portal to the dark fall passage but somewhere around here there's a bonus cave uh, with uh a neat, unique creature that I wish I could show, but I won't. All I'm going to say is that creature is unkillable unless you have a pickaxe. It's a weird that way. You can create stuff out of its uh, uh, parts, materials, things like that. But uh, it's not terribly interesting. And it's just confusing that you can't kill it the normal way. Wow, a giant spider. Disgusting. Did you seriously have to use a giant one as a revenant, Serana? Like, come on. That's gonna hang around uh, for like uh, three minutes. Oh, she's stuck on a crouching position. God damn it. I should just uh, stay up from now on. Anyway, it's kind of easy to miss this one because you're goaded into staying uh, on high ground, but uh, it's not too bad. At least this one's still in this gigantic area. Seriously, this place is super open. It's great. For reference, I do appreciate that you have to explore to find uh, shrines. Not all of them are just uh, in your... Uh, Path, and that's Are good. Prepare to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment. Like, why would you make a huge uh, valley like this child. and not take Hold advantage of it? You know, closer to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom. Can you please get up, Serana. Oh, what is it? 
Honestly, I don't think they care what a bunch of vampires would do with Ariel's bow. They're pretty focused on their past. As long as we can get this Verther out of the Sanctum, I think they'll be happy to just hand it over. <laughs> May Ariel's warmth imbue your body with strength. The hell? What are you doing, Serana? Come back here. Anyway, there's something cool you can do over there, but it's optional and it will uh, really uh, <laughs> uh, like take a lot of time out of the video if we do that. Because we have to like do a lot of backtracking if we go in these falls right over here. I guess I, suppose I can get at least close to them to show what's gonna, what Serana is going to say. You really should get up, Serana. Like, to get her back up, I think I'm going to have to enter combat while sneaking and then get up. Because she mimics what you do, you know? Yes. So if you fall there, she's going to be really pissed at you. Because she just warned you and she's going to say, Oh, I told you! It's actually... There is an optional thing you can get over there in those falls. Just, it's not necessary, and... Uh, there's also unique creatures, unique types of Falmer. Feral Falmer. I wish I could show it, but it's too much backtracking if I do that. Well, Serana's gonna be super slow from now on, so... Might as well continue without her. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? A frozen lake. Also, this is where we're supposed to go. Right over there. Cool, huh? We can see it from here. So if you can, if your character can fly, you can go to the final part of this dungeon right away. But it won't work that way because you need to uh, enter the place from the inside. God, well, I do not know what Serana is doing, but she's clearly not uh, interested in following me right now. So I'm just going to go on ahead all alone. I, I want, really wanted her to help me out uh, for this uh, event, but uh, I guess not. It's not like I need her help anyway. We fought dragons before, right? Well, how about two at the same time, huh? And they're both uh, revered dragons. That's... That's going to be fun, particularly if one of them uses fire attacks because it's going to damage me a whole lot. Anyway, I'm going to need help for this. I forgot to do this, but I'm going to summon Dunavir. At least I tried to summon Dunavir. I didn't have too much health, fortunately. Yes, there's a ward wall right here. It's drain vitality. I don't know where the final ward is, actually. Oh. Okay, I summoned Dunavir somewhere. Uh, but uh, I don't know where. At least he taught me the first word of uh, soul tear. Essence. It's That shout is really only useful once you've gotten all the words, though. I really have to be careful if they uh, start using the uh, fire attacks on me because it's gonna hurt a lot. And Serana decided to join us. Good. Okay, and cool. She's standing up right now. That's Dunavir that did that right there. Summoned those two skeletons. Three skeletons, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, fire. I have to be really careful around them. They're bone on that thing! <laughs> That's kind of funny. There's a reason you only generally fight one dragon at a time. One down. Give me your money. Damage wise, they're not too bad. Could be worse. I didn't mean to fall here. 
By the way, there's unique sets of giants in this valley. They, uh, uh, some of them hold uh, special uh, uh, orbs that you can uh, use uh, to uh, get some more goodies in this area. Oh my god, I really have to do a lot of backtracking right now just to get back into uh, to fight, you know? Sorry for leaving you alone, Serana. Oh. Yeah, called up Dunavir a second time. He's probably down there, actually. Or something. Oh, he's over there. That's where I summoned him. He's supposed to say stuff to us, but uh, unfortunately he's too far away right now. Where's that damn dragon? I should use Dragon Rain on him. What's the dragon doing? It was doing something weird. Well, it's dead now. So that's the twin dragon fight. It's pretty cool. A lot of people just... You, you don't have to do it. And I'm pretty sure you can't do it if you're not uh, dragonborn while doing this quest. Like, the dragons won't spawn or something like that. Still, you don't often face two dragons at once. And this is one of the few opportunities you get in the vanilla game. And with Dunavir hanging around, it was practically three dragons in one fight. Pretty cool. Money. You had fun, Serana? Really sorry, I left her alone for a while, but uh, that's what happens when you fall from the plateau. Gotta go all the way around. Anyway, there's a way shrine right over here. You've arrived at the way shrine of resolution. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes. Then go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ariel strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the inner sanctum. Okay, so while he opens up uh, his shrine, I need to go back to uh, the beginning of the valley because I forgot something. It's easy to miss. I'm not surprised I forgot about it um yeah i think the beginning is over there okay it should be so yeah right over here this book unknown book it's not particularly interesting the thing is that i really want to collect this book because for each book i find i get 1000 gold and that's going to be useful for the achievement of 100,000 gold on my character you know I want to find those books. I know where they are, just uh, it's easy to forget about them if you're not explicitly looking for them. Oh, and right over here we have uh, this uh, device, something like that. Right here, Paragon sockets. That's, that's what you can find, Paragons. You need to find them. Put them here, and this activates this portal that leads you to a bonus uh, area. I think this uh, giant has a paragon. I'll kill it real quick just to make an example of this. Wow, that was a cool dodge. Huh. Seriously. You have a paragon, right? The sapphire paragon, yes. I never did manage to find all the paragons. I think I only found like four of the five at one time. There's really only one paragon that you want though. That leads to unknown book number two. However, unknown book number two, uh, there's another way to get to it. So it's not very necessary for you to find that specific paragon. You know? We're at the inner sanctum right now. That's where we're supposed to go. However, all we can do here is uh, get some rewards. A lot of rewards, jeez. So I've taken pretty much everything I need. Uh, that's the re reward you get for the Sapphire Paragon. The other Paragons have their own set of rewards that are not exactly as rewarding, but one of them leads to unbook number two, so 
you really probably want to find that one unless you know of the trick to be able to get on on book number two despite that you're still hanging around doing a beer I'm surprised He might get stuck actually. He might hang around forever. So. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, no, it did. Okay. So he disappeared from the skies and reappeared right here. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. So. When a soul is imprisoned in dead flame. Thank you, achievement unlocked, Solterre. Good. That's all I need to do. It's very easy to forget about uh, getting that shout, actually, because I never generally get uh, help from Dunavir while doing my uh, uh, games on my modded, uh, you know, Skyrim. Anyway, we have to go over here. I, I did. Uh, no, I did not fail the initiate lure. I almost forgot. It wouldn't have been that bad, to be honest, but uh, still, you can't forget about filling the initiates uber. Okay, good. May RDL's glow shield you from now we need to go over here. We're not even... <laughs> I'd say we're only half done with the valley. It's crazy, huh? Because we gotta go through this uh, part right here, then we're gonna go through a cave, and then we gotta go through another part like this, and then we'll have to go through the actual final dungeon. Yeah. There's that much stuff left to do. And there's a ton of Thalmer in this area, unfortunately. We're going over here. Ah, hopefully Dunavir is gonna help us. At least as a distraction, hopefully. Ah, here we go. So Rhino's already started attacking them. Uh, maybe Dunavir did, actually? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there was a Falmer behind me. Well, Serana can take care of it. It's gonna take a while for her, but... She'll take care of it, I'm sure. This area is really cool, and there's a paragon at the top uh, somewhere over there from a giant. Unfortunately, I don't really have much time to do that. There's also caves that we can enter. Um, they're just passages, really. Don't care about those. They wait. The very first time you go here, you might think, oh, there's a cave here. I have to enter it because that's where I have to go. No! It's a waste of time. It just leads you to, like, uh, the lower levels or higher levels, depending on where you enter. It's best to just stay around this place and go through the thing from here. I like seeing Dunavir's shadow hanging around here. Really accentuates how uh, neat the shadows look in the special edition, actually. In vanilla, they uh, they look extremely weak, very pixelated. That's not the case at all in. Uh, this uh, version. Wow. Dumbass. <laughs> uh, gotta go over here. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'm already reaching the end. That means, um, hmm. I don't know what it means. <laughs> There's, uh, oh no, book level three somewhere around here. Just need to start from over there to be able to, uh, like figure out where it is. So I go up here and I don't think there's anything. Hmm. It's 
besides like some veins and a shortcut to over here. Would have been a pretty ideal shortcut if I had gone uh, through the valley from here in the first place though. It really would have. I forget about this shortcut every time though. Oh, hey Serana. Anyway, there should be like a Falmer uh, house or tent somewhere nearby. That's where Falmer book uh, level, not level, <laughs> number three is. Or should be at the very least. This one right here, I think. Mm, no. Oh, go here. But the book still isn't here. Hmm. Ah, this one right over there. Positive. Yep. Volume 3. That's what I want to say. Not number 3. Not uh, level 3. <laughs> Volume 3. Ah, oh, goddammit. Another freaking warmonger. How are you not dead? Huh? And one more Falmer over here. Two more. Hmm. But they're not that tough. Uh, actually, this one is. Well, just unlock Soul Tear. Let me show what it does. Doesn't do anything. Probably because that Falmer was blocking my uh, magical uh, attack, but still. It's not, Soul Tear is not too bad. Just in Legendary Difficulty, its effects are not very obvious. Yeah, just die god damn it i hate it when the falmer get up to your face and continuously cast spells on you just frustrating anyway despite just being a glacial device this is we're only at like halfway done with the final uh, area which is the foreground and veil You're stuck, Serana? She doesn't want to swim. That's the problem. And all the troll is going to fight these two Falmer. Which are both warmongers, of course. We'll take advantage of the distraction and get rid of the warmongers first. There we go. I was trying to get rid of the warmongers, but I should have focused on the uh, uh, troll first. Someone else. Someone all the way up here? Really? <laughs> it's not impossible. In fact, it's quite likely. We have to go all the way up there, I'm pretty sure. This place is pretty cool, in fact. I like it a lot. Goodbye. Where's Serana? She's still stuck over there. Oh well, she'll teleport to me eventually. She has a comment about these bridges uh, and how they're not very durable. And here she comes now. Hmm. Uh-huh. Let's go. Go over here. Not too many interesting so far, but there's a trap right here. Obviously. Oh, 
Oh wow, there are some chorus around here. I'm actually kind of surprised. It's gonna miss. Oh cool, barely got his arm. I don't like how Serana seems to only follow me uh, when I look back. I think that's uh, an issue with the AI. How it only uh, activates when you're looking in this direction, you know? Anyway, we have to go over here, I believe. Uh, no, 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 no. You are going down, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. He's stuck there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Can't do anything, though. He finally fell, and he's still not dead. Did Serana fall? Yeah, that's her <laughs> Palmer. Yeah, you finally got him? Okay, good. He was bothering me. He would have bothered Serana if I had just uh, been on my merry way through here. That's why I had to kill them. Trap. We stay hidden right here. Fulmer won't bother us. We're supposed to just go over here. If we go down there, actually, it's best to be uh, way back up if you fall in the water, I believe. There are a lot of places where we don't have to fight anything. It's a little weird. I remember in Requiem, there's Falmer everywhere. Not in like uh, overwhelming numbers and definitely much easier than what it did with the Soul Cairn. But uh, here it's uh, kind of sparse. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Hmm. She just says that. It's a generic line, which she says right there. Need to go over there. You also need to go over there. Bye. Yes, Serrano's gonna keep attacking him, but oh damn it, he fell in the water. If he had fallen on the ice, here, it would have been fatal. Oh cool, he died anyway. Good, good, good. <laughs> There we go. Nothing less to do here. At least I think. So yeah, back down there, I believe it's the beginning, right? Did you fall down there, Serana? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she has a long way back up. But yeah, down there, it's back at the beginning. Over there is where we entered from. And we had to go over here. Now we're all the way up here. Which means we can go over here. So if your character can fly, they can skip pretty much the entire dungeon. Or this glacial device right here. But then again, if your character can fly, they can actually just skip through this entire place by flying over the dungeon itself. I should try it. Never did try it. Hmm. Anyway, we're still not done. Not right yeah, yeah, something not right here. There's a trap right here. Palmer right over there. The usual. For reference, we're still in the, the Forgotten Vale, just in a different part right here. Like, I'll, I'll show. Damn it, 
doesn't move far enough. But we're still the glacial, uh, I mean, forgotten veil, I'm pretty sure. If not, well, I guess we're at a second part and it's not too far away. Who's there? Hello? Fight me. Don't know what's up with the AI in this area. Doesn't know what to do. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just kind of cold. So this is weird. I never thought that you had to go here, but you're supposed to continue through here. It's weird though, because it's, it looks like you're just circling around a tent. If you go over there from like back there, you know, something like that. Just doesn't feel like you would make any progress. Just die, God. And there's course right over there that we don't want to disturb. Now here's the thing, you're actually supposed to continue by staying, like by going through the lower levels, but that's not something very obvious to someone who does this thing for the very first time, that was volume 4 by the way. So I spent a great deal of time in this area wondering what the hell am I supposed to do. Well it turns out you're supposed to go over here. Continues. Obviously, there's going to be a falling rock trap in this area. And a falmer that's going to appear right here. Maybe. Anyway. Yep. Skip the rock trap. Oh, god damn it. That's right. Course Hunter's going to appear out of those things. That's even worse. Sorry, Serana. Something. Oh, it was you. You activated the trap. Thankfully, it doesn't really affect her. She tanks everything like a champ. And now we're back outside. And the final way shrine is right here. If you missed any of the way shrines, it did not completely fill up the uh, initiative sewer. Well, guess what? You're gonna have to go back to the Forgotten Vale and search around. It's usually the Shrine of Sight that people miss, I wanna say. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. Oh, what is it? Nothing. I'm just seeing if she had anything to say. This is where we need to go. Thank goodness. And yes, Shrine of Sight, Shrine of Resolution, Darkfall Passage, and the Shrine of Learning. May Ariel's radiance There's actually one more Ray Shine that we will activate, but that's the end of the quest line. Still, it's convenient. It looks like some kind of temple? It is some kind of temple. Also, she uses that line uh, for generic stuff that looks impressive. I do believe there's like a secret somewhere around here. It's cool. Pro probably a paragon, maybe. Yay. Let's get inside. 